today. And you guys, I just love to share everything that I've learned along the way. You guys, um, so let's start off like this. I want to set you guys up powerfully. I have my notes today. So you guys know there's going to be so many nuggets that you guys are going to be so excited to hear today. So I, when, I, when I have that, because again, for my returners, you guys know I'd be bouncing around. Boom, 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 boom. I don't want to miss a beat on here. And I don't want you guys to miss a beat. So because this is the number one thing that people come to me for, you guys. I'm down 64 pounds, right? So when they see my before and after and see me in a bikini, the first question is how, Sway, right? And we're talking about skin. So today, you guys, we're talking, the topic is skin. Getting our skin to shrink as we shrink skin tightening, okay? That is going to be today's topic. So going over the products for the 21-day challenge, I'll go over those like we normally do. And then I'll go into my enhancer picks, you guys, which are all going to be revolved around skin tightening. Also, making a recipe today, you guys. It's Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, you guys. So we are doing Tofu Taco Tuesday, and we'll tie that in a beautiful bowl at the end. And that's also going to be in the same series of skin tightening, you guys. So I'm so super excited. So the first thing that we want to do, the intention and focus. So the intention and focus of our nutrition chat talks, you guys, that we put on for the customers is to give you your own knowledge. Knowledge is power. The more you know, the more confident you feel and what you're you're taking and you should know what you're swallowing right and then once you get once you learn your information here inside of you know our healthy lifestyle community once you get that information here this information that you're taught you guys can use the same method right in any area of your life you can use these tools and the, these in these nutrition tips and even your solid food choices right and then even when grocery shopping all types of things right so you can use these tips in anywhere in your life so that's the intention and focus because knowledge is power the more you know the stronger you are the stronger you are the more consistent you'll be the more consistent you'll be then forever you'll be right you guys i am now down 64 pounds nine years strong y'all nine years strong so that's how we lose it and keep it lost is by gaining the knowledge. We want to lose weight, but gain knowledge. Okay, you guys? So recommended for this call. Notes are recommended. Now, if you don't have a pen and paper in front of you, don't worry. But notes are recommended. And I say that just because, you guys, I've been doing this. I've been on the products for nine years, but I've been uh, coaching for eight years. And I just always know how it is at the end of the meeting when it's just like, oh, my gosh, I should have. What'd you say? What'd you say? What'd you say? What'd you say? Hey, when you said, you know, so I'll know that I'm going to say a lot of things today, you guys, that you're going to be very interested in. And then you'll want to like, oh, shoot, I should have wrote that down, right? So notes are recommended. When I'm talking about the products, you guys, um, a lot of products will probably start to excite you. If you didn't know about them, you'll hear about a lot of new things today too. So they might start to excite you or you might have known about the product, but you didn't realize how it could have helped you maybe in like today's area skin type. So then you'll hear about it and you'll get excited about it, right? So prioritize what you're hearing and just know that this is something that you could just add on to your program one at a time, right? These are enhancers that we use to enhance our current programs that we are already on. All right, you guys. So let me go into my Nike set story real quick and just introduce myself. You guys, my name is Brittany Wadden. I am 35 years young. I'm a mother to three incredible boys and married to the awesome Chris Wadden that's back here at, in the production team with all of the, the videos. Um, you guys, and my journey started eight, uh, nine years ago. Nine years ago. Oh, I'm going to cry now. I'm so emotional. Tomorrow is my wedding anniversary. And it's the whole reason I don't even know why I'm about to cry. Um, tomorrow is our ninth wedding anniversary, you guys, and um, that, that's how I got started on my nutrition plan. I was 215 pounds when my husband proposed to me, um, so upgrade. Okay, no, but I was 215 pounds when my husband proposed to me, so um, I wanted to be a hot bride, right? We all know that there is how many pictures taken of us on that day, and we already know that we want to show those pictures for generations and generations and generations to come. So your girl was like, okay, you gotta do something. So I got started on a program, you guys, because I just wanted to be a hot bride. That's all I wanted to do. My program was a dance program or pole lesson, you guys. I, I love that program. I had I to enhance the heck out of it now. I mean, I'd take a whole bunch around it. But advanced program with Rolesa, you guys, is my core. So I was, I did advanced program with Rolesa. You guys, I was a new year, new me uh, uh, client, right? Because our, our our wedding was March 9th. So January is when I started, and I just went went for it, went for it, went for it. I finally trusted the process. I'm going to be very transparent and honest. I finally trusted the process because my first, when I bought my first advanced program with Rolesa, it was October, right? 
But I don't know, it was like the Jesus bread and fish, like it just, the canister just kept filling up. Like it lasted me 90 days. And you know, there's only 30 shakes in there, but my canister just kept filling up for whatever reason, it took me all the way to January. Uh, but you guys, so January came, I had, you know, a why, an instant why. And I'm like, I'm gonna get serious. Let's just, a why, I didn't even decide to get serious. I was like, for me, can you just do what it says to do? Do it for, you know, do it for a couple of days, see how you feel. And so I did it for a couple of days. I was like, oh, shit, no wonder they say this. Isn't that crazy? And then so I did it. I remember my first week, celebrating my first week that I did it. I was so addicted, just like many of you, you guys, today is the eighth. So we are eight days into our 21-day challenge. You guys, so seven days after I consecutively did two shakes a day, right? Tab three times and, and, and sat two times, right? I consecutively done it seven days in a row. Oh, I felt amazing. I felt amazing. I felt like I had so much inch loss, de-bloating, you know, the toxins getting out, the extra water weight. That took up tons of inches in itself. I felt like wow, the girl was feeling herself. And so, you guys, I did it one of these. So I said, okay, let me try another seven days. And then I was like, let me try another seven days. And before you know it, you guys, on my wedding day, March 9th, I was down 37 pounds. 37 pounds, we could go to Vegas, get married, live it up in Vegas. One night, ended up at uh, Mickey D's, you know, that liquid courage, supersize that meal. I'm be really stressed out, you guys. We are real people, okay? We are real people helping real people get results. We got in line and got a supersized meal. We ate that supersized meal, y'all. We had just got married. This is me and Chris. My husband is down 69 pounds, you guys. Seems to be 250 pounds. So, you know, if we get together and eat, we can eat. We got, I eat that in, you eat that meat. And we didn't know who was going to say it first and say, you want to get in line again? Yo, we got in line again. We got in line again. We got another super size meal. So with that being said, you guys, we count back. That's the honeymoon. So when we got back, I was like, you know what? I love the way I feel. I love the way that I'm sleeping at night. I love my energy. I'm not fatigued. I love the way my skin is glowing. I love the way my hair is growing. Like, I love it. I don't want to lose this. Um, you know, so I'm like, I'm, let me get the, right back on it. And it's so easy, you guys, because when you choose a lifestyle and not restrictions, you just plug back in, right? You just plug back in and that's it. So I didn't feel like I threw all my, my results and everything that I had done out the window just because, you know, I lived it up for seven days. I just got marked already. I'm going to live it up, right? So I did it. And you guys, the testimony that I only gained four pounds. I went to Chicago previously to not eating correctly. And you know, in Chicago, you gotta eat too. I'm a foodie. So I tried everything. Most Pinos, Gino's, these. I said, this is a war. I gotta taste them both, right? So whatever those things are, Portellos, I mean, whatever they're called. So I'm at both of them. And I'm like, okay, you know, trying everything. Because I was only there three days, gained 10 pounds, okay? My metabolism, my metabolism started speeding up and I was super excited about that. So you guys, that's my testimony. I'm now down 64 pounds. What happened right there? Hold on, guys. Can you change the screen? Or did my thing freeze? Do you guys still see me? Danny, I see you. Do you still see me or you see a frozen screen? I see you, but I, in the corner, someone's sharing their screen. Oh, somebody's sharing their screen. Yeah, it's a screenshot and it's of you, but they're sharing their screen. Just one moment. There you go, guys. Ah, I'm back. Okay, yeah, somebody, whoever got that screenshot, get another screenshot. That was funny. Hold on, let me, let me act like I'm. Do you guys get your screenshot? Y'all are getting me funky. You know I be talking like T-Rex, and then you got to like that screenshot. All right, guys, so let's get into it. So now, um, you guys, let's get into the product training. So we're going to go first over, like, our main products that we're taking on our 21-day challenge, and we're going to get to these enhancers, and we're going to get to these tofu tacos. All right, you guys? So the first thing I want to go over is our main event, baby. This Formula One. This Formula One, this Formula One is a good woman. That's what I say. I love this Formula One, you guys. And let me tell you the magic behind this Formula One. This Formula One, you guys, is jam-packed with nutrients. This is very, very dense in nutrients, right? So it has a very high level of nutrients, but it has a very low caloric intake, right? It has a controlled amount of carbs, a controlled amount of sugars, right? And a controlled amount of calories. So I love this Formula One that I'm able to get in all of these nutrients that are in here in one sitting, but at a very, very, very low caloric intake. You guys, when you get, when you look at the back of this label and you see all of the nutrients that are in here, if you would try to make this on a plate, I would have a plate of bananas, broccoli, egg, uh, salmon, steak, cottage cheese. I would like, who eats all of that at once, right? 
And then who would want to eat all that at once? And that's a lot of calories, right? So the magic behind your formula one is that they took all the nutrients and put it in our formula one to put it in a controlled form, right? So this is the main event, you guys. This is our meal because of all of the nutrients. We mix it with our protein drink mix, right? I like to call it my Herbalife milk. We mix it with, I think I got a hair in my mouth. Hold on, guys. Um, we mix it with our protein drink mix, you guys. And this protein drink mix is going to go in here and it could be your milk substitute, right? If you don't have your protein drink mix, then you would do, um, I recommend like a soy protein milk. Um, uh, I like Fairfield, what else? I would try to stay away from, I know people like almond, you guys, but almond is one gram of protein. So we're, we want the protein to keep us full. This right here, you guys, is going to be 15 grams of protein that we're putting in with our nine, giving us 24 grams of protein, right? Every two to three hours, your body can break down anywhere from 25 to 35 grams of protein, and that's it, okay? So don't over protein, you're going to be protein bloated, right? You know, those dudes at the beach, they all buff and stuff, but they don't take off their muscle shirt because they can't get that cinch waist and they can't get those abs, that cobra. It's because you got, you take it in 160 grams of protein and probably fillers and everything else, right? You can't digest it, so your stomach's out to here, but you're here, right? You want that cobra. So if you see the men in other life, that's what we call them, we call them that cobra body because it's easy to digest and they're taking in the amount that their body can digest to get the results that they need. All right, you guys? So uh, we have our Formula One PDM. And then let me tell you guys one thing about your protein drink mix. This is a nutrient dense, I mean, uh, together. This is a nutrient dense protein smoothie. Nutrient dense protein smoothie. That's what makes it a meal replacement, right? We cannot replace a meal with just a protein shake. That's not, that's not a meal. That's putting chicken on your plate. That's it. You got to get your greens in. You got to get your nutrients in, right? That's what's going to help our body, especially, right, today's topic, skin tightening. As we get down, we need those nutrients. You guys, I had lost 40 pounds um, before by doing, uh, you know, cutting calories where you got to be calorie deficient, right? This allows me to go calorie deficient. So when I found this, you guys, I was like, wow, because I was going calorie deficient like we're supposed to. So taking in less calories and burning more. However, with solid foods, when you're going calorie deficient, you're also going nutrient deficient. And that's what I was doing. I was taking everything down to small portions and I was losing my nutrients. So then what? I did start to get to fatigue, right? Starting when we eat healthy, we like to what? Work out. So now I'm not just sitting around anymore. I'm trying to push my body to its limits, but I'm not giving it the right fuel that it needs. So then I get even more fatigued, right? Then now I'm susceptible to getting sick because I'm compromising my immune system, right? So we don't want to do those things. So this is a nutrient-dense protein smoothie. You never want to just say, oh, I do protein shakes, right? Because we got a family member that comes over there like, you do protein shakes? And they look at your, your uh, healthy meal, right? It's a healthy meal. They're going to look at something like this and say, you know, um, it's got too many carbs or it's got too many uh, sugars. It's got nine grams of sugar. This is a complete healthy meal, you guys. So nine grams of your sugar is going to be fine. It's totally fine. This is your meal, okay? So when you when you know it as a meal and not just a protein shake, because what happens when we look at our protein? This is our protein. This is just protein. This is one gram of sugar. That's what protein should be. But if you tell people that you're drinking a protein shake and they look at this, that is too much sugar for protein. If you just had a plain protein with nothing else in it and it was nine grams, I would tell you too, it's too much, right? So you are doing a protein, I mean, a nutrient dense protein food. Okay, so that's just something that will help you because if you guys are anything like me, when I first started, I like to say, hold on, focus. When I first started my program, I always feel like anytime somebody first starts something, all of a sudden everybody's an expert. I'm like Barbara, where were you when I was drinking diet that pepper, eating tacos, going to Whataburger at two o'clock in the morning? Where were you? You had no information for me, no facts for me, no nothing. Now you over here smoking a cigarette and drinking a sweet tea telling me all these things about what you think I should be doing, right? So be careful who you listen to, talk to your coach about everything, you guys, and understand and know what you're taking in just so somebody doesn't try to rebuttal you, right, with false information. Tell your coach everything, talk to your coach about everything. The next two things that I want to talk about that we do in our 21 day challenge, you guys, is either going to be your herbal tea concentrate or your total control, right? So let's talk about the herbal tea concentrate first. I love my tea. Who's on their tea today? Drop your favorite flavor tea in the chat. Um, you guys, my favorite when it's cold right now, especially right now, we're in the cold front. I love doing the chai um, tea hot and then putting one scoop of the vanilla uh, protein drink mix in there. You guys, it tastes just like a chai tea latte, you know, from the other places. 
It is delicious, but healthy. So you guys, with that being said, you guys, our herbal tea is a black and green um, and orange pico blend. It is a herbal blend, right? So it's black, green, orange pico. It's super high in antioxidants. It's designed to strip our body of its toxins and it helps up the thermogenic levels, you guys, so that we can be burning calories at the same time. So it's gonna help boost the metabolism, right? Boost the metabolism. Now, when it comes to total control, Total control, total control, take control. No, that word, control, right? So with the total control, you guys, the total control, one of the main ingredients in total control is our herbal tea concentrate, right? But what do we learn every, every month, you guys? The total control is not the same as your uh, herbal tea concentrate, right? If it was, it would be herbal tea concentrate tabs, just like our NRG is a tea, and then NRG has a tab, right? Total control is its own thing. So. We got our booster, right? So this will kind of make sense like in the immune world, right? In our immune, in our immune department, we have our best defense that's gonna boost the metabolism, right? I mean, the, the immunity, that's a thousand milligrams of vitamin C right there, right? But then we have our immunity essentials and then immunity essentials is like a multivitamin for our immune system where it's developing. Same thing with the total control. The total control is gonna go in and start to help develop your metabolism, right? This is gonna boost it because who don't want to boost right now? I want to boost right now, right? We need a challenge. I'm trying to boost. We got a thousand dollars on the line. I'm trying to boost, 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 boost. Okay, boost me all the way. I'm gonna boost so much that they don't have me. Looking, they don't have me on the boost mode commercials. So I'm just boosting, right? So I represent boost. Okay, so you just want to boost that metabolism, but then you also want to develop it. You want to develop it, and I'll tell you what, y'all. I'm the guy. So you know, we, when every time we celebrate, it's food. When we sad, it's food. Everything is food. Okay, I'm not trying to go to Quinceanera and be looking at everybody else. Eating the big the chicharrones, the red beans, the rice. I'm not trying to do that, right? I'm even on my husband's next year. So I'm not trying to go to his parties either. I'm trying to get these tamales, right? Let's be honest. You are not, not ever going to have a tamale again. Yes, you are, okay? So let's boost away and develop that metabolism so that our metabolism is working like it used to work, right? So when we age, we, we keep saying aging, aging, aging. Your age doesn't mean that you have to start slowing down on things. It doesn't mean... Yes, there's a natural aging process. But you guys, now, and especially with the American diet, aging got nothing to do with it. It's just because you've been filling yourself up with some crazy stuff for 30 years. And now the, 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 the way that they're, you know, putting all these things in our foods, right? If the food, if the chicken grows in 45 days now, not 90, and he's three times his normal size, what do you think is going to happen to us when we eat these chickens, okay? If the cow is bigger than ever, right? And, and, and not off grass, I don't know. They ain't taking herbal life. Maybe these animals ain't even taking herbal life, right? But you guys, so the cows are getting get bigger, better, faster. What's going to happen to us? We're getting bigger, better, faster, right? If, uh, y'all, if I have one investment I want to make in my life, it's on the farm. I'm going to get a farmer. We need to farm. I just want my own food, right? So you guys, because of that, those things, our body starts to slow down. We're expediting the slowdown process, right? I'm not trying to have this place turn into Wally. Y'all remember Wally? I saw Wally and I was like, oh my gosh. Are they trying to tell us where we're going, right? Walt Disney, he's a visionary. Is this where we're going? I don't know, right? So y'all drink your tea and take the tap so we don't end up like Wally, okay? Well, I like Wally, but you know, the other stuff at Wally, they was rolling and stuff. The world was coming to an end and nobody, the world was gonna roll it. We can even roll a victory in. Well, I hope we got a Wally, you know? All right, guys. So with that being said, that is gonna be our products, our main products that come in our 21 day challenge. Okay, with that, I want to go into our enhancers. No, I'm lying. I do want to say one thing. I'm going into the aloe. The antioxidants. So since I told you guys that the tea is super high in antioxidants, let me give you guys something because I just love how everything full circle works together for us. Antioxidants help stimulate the growth of collagen and elastin, right? So we're talking about the skin health. So you're already on your way. You're already on your way, taking your tea, doing your total control, getting all those uh, antioxidants in. You're already promoting the growth of collagen and elastin, right? So uh, the last thing is going to be aloe. You guys, aloe is on our digestive line. I love the aloe. I like to call it our rotor rooter. You can figure that part out, right? It is white cat safe. You're not going to you're not going to drink it and like you know go everywhere. Um, you guys, but I love the aloe. I love the aloe. Most uh, most of us add it to our tea. If you do your tea without the aloe, don't worry. Put the aloe in there. It'll be the sweetener. Do not put sugar. Put your aloe in there and make it super, super soothing for yourself. You get those antioxidants out and then you get the deep bloating out and you're like, yeah. Y'all, if you guys have not tried the relaxed tea, 
I would try the relaxed tea. Uh, it's bougie. I feel like it tastes bougie. I just want to put my pinky out when I drink it. It's made with lavender, lemon balm, like, you know, all those words. And then I like to put my uh, aloe in that, in that nighttime tea. And then when I go to sleep, I die and wake up in the morning, your girl was like, UPS, I got stuff to deliver. I got stuff to deliver. Uh, uh, uh. Right? You guys, I am a proud pooper, okay? My husband got me on a live over here now. I just said that on the World Wide Web. But uh, I am a proud pooper, you guys. And we need to, we need to talk about this. Ladies, I'm going to tell my ladies on the call. Ladies, did you guys say it back? All right. If you are not pooping every day, okay, this is a call of action. Tell your coach. Tell your coach. You guys know how many people I've, we've done total body transformations and you never know what, what the thing is. And a lot of people, that main thing right there, the core is digestion. I mean, two and three weeks, y'all. I'm like, oh my gosh, right? I would be, I would have an attitude all the time if that was me. So you got to get with your coach. We got to get that stuff out. We got to clean these intestines out. And you guys learning about the gut today, you're also going to learn how the gut is directly linked to the skin. So it's very, very important that we are going to the restroom and that we do have healthy digestive systems because that does affect your skin getting tighter. It does, right? Okay, so let's get into it, you guys. Um, before we go into my, look at, I'm reading my notes real quick. My um, enhancer spotlight section today of, on skin tightening, let's go over the frequent topic questions, okay? So I'm gonna go over three frequent topics and then five tips and we'll go into this. So you guys, frequent topics, possible symptoms, okay? Possible symptoms of when your body is naturally cleansing itself out. So when you're giving your body everything it needs, we have become storage units because our body needs certain things to be fueled. When we're eating that Big Mac, you guys, that Big Mac does not have those nutrients that we need to get fueled. Yet, if we've been eating like that for a long time, our body is like, well, I don't know if she's going to give me something good or not. So I'm going to take what I can and let me just store the rest, right? That, that means our, even though we're overeating and gaining weight, our body is actually in starvation mode because you are starving your body of the actual fuel that it needs. So you are physically full, but your body is starving for what it needs. When your body is starving for what it needs, it becomes a storage unit. Y'all, we out here like a U-Haul storage unit, right? And so when we start taking in these nutrients, right? We start drinking our tea, antioxidants, that's already gonna strip the toxins. So now we have toxins floating around, right? We start to take in the nutrients. So once we start to take in the nutrients, your body's like, ooh, I can use this. Ooh, I can use this. Ooh, get rid of this, get rid of this. I need room, right? And it starts throwing all the junk out at once. That's what starts to happen. Depending on how extreme your diet was before you became healthy, right? If you did a lot of sugar, if you had like a lot of sugar coffees, a lot of sugar drinks, right? A lot of people get, get uh, messed up in the drinks and they don't realize how much sugar they're intaking. You guys to come off with sugar, look up the side effects of, of quitting sugar and not even quitting, but just coming way down on it. I mean, those side effects are equivalent to coming off of like cocaine and stuff. It's bad. It's really bad. I've had one client have a really bad effect of coming off of sugar, you guys. But those are the adverse effects that your body can have initially by just trying to clean out. And this is something that you need to know because if you feel funny or something's not right, what are you going to say? Oh my God, this poison. No, your body is getting the poison out. Do not quit. Drink more water, okay? So possible symptoms could be headaches. It could be um, nausea. It could be diarrhea, right? I've never had somebody go on to a day three of headaches, right? So no, nothing ever went to day three. And I tell them, drink your water, drink your water, drink your water. If you're feeling nausea, if you're feeling headaches, if you're getting diarrhea, if your body's like trying to help flush it out faster, your body's just trying to clean house. So take in that water, you guys, and flush out faster. Do not stop. Do not stop. Do not quit. Because if you quit, even for a day or two, when you start again, you're going to restart that detox process. Just let your body get it all out. And then you really know what a detox feels like. Y'all, your body is made to detox itself in every way, right? Can we do that again? Uh, hold on, guys. I screened up. I speed up. Are you allowed to stop uh, that? I think you can do that on six. All right, you guys. So with that being said, let's get into the, uh, okay, possible symptoms. Talk to your coach about everything. And then knowing that your products, you guys, inside of Herbalife, our company is Herbalife Nutrition, right? Don't drop the word nutrition. Herbalife Nutrition. 
If you don't drop that word, you, you won't get so confused and things. We think just because it's a supplement, it's crazy when people are like, when like the baby goes to, to take a drink or something, like, no, 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 no. Oh my girl, you got an egg McMuffin in that baby's hand. That baby can drink some tea. Like, why are you afraid of tea, but you have an egg McMuffin in the baby's hand? You don't even know where that egg McMuffin came from. You don't know how it was made. You don't know. That, that baby's eating cardboard. Cardboard and plastic right there. We don't know what's happening to the intestine. We do, but that would be a whole nother segment, guys. So this is just nutrients. So what I mean in a simple form, it's just a consumption choice. That's all it is. It's just a consumption choice. So if you're pregnant, do you have any dietary restrictions? That's what you would stay away from, right? If you have any, if you're on any medications, if there's any health complications that you have, the only question that you need to ask your coach is, do, uh, do uh, you have to let them know is if you have any um, restrictions on your diet. And that's it, right? Because, and let me give you an example. I had a client who was on blood thinners. If you're on blood thinners, you can't be taking vitamin K because vitamin K is already a vitamin that naturally will help thin out your blood, right? So when she was on those blood thinners, I just made sure that she was not on anything that had our vitamin K in it. So she can continue her products, but just stay away from the vitamin K so you get off the medication. So what are your diet restrictions? If you have diet restrictions, you make sure to get that with your coach. Other than that, you guys will be good on everything. Okay, so um, tips real quick. First thing to cut out, you guys, so we are in a challenge, all right? So these are easy things to cut out. First thing to cut out, and I say one of the easiest is going to be drinks, okay? It's going to be drinks. I would say cut out all drinks, just drink water. If you drink something that's not water, just make sure it's your herbal and that's it. And then you won't have to worry about the extra calories, the extra sugars, there's carbs in drinks too, all the extras that come with it. And I feel like it's easier. I'm just talking from when I did it, you guys, when I was 215. It was easier for me to deny a drink than it was to deny food, right? So I would just cut my drinks out first. That was the first thing that I did to help myself cut out some of the excess calories and excess sugar, excess sugars. You guys, I did take I did um, take my journey one day at a time. I did not try to go cold turkey on everything. I just took it at my own pace because when I had done it, I was sick and tired of being sick and tired, and I had tried everything before, right? And I knew this time I don't want to mess this up. I don't want to mess it up. And I don't want to be the one to push myself into a quit, to push myself into like, I can't do it anymore because I stripped myself of everything. And now I'm like going haywire. You guys, when you're, when you're, when you're, when your body's going through those things, we're irritable, right? Oh my gosh. Shout out to all the spouses that are not dieting with you. Uh, we're irritable. We're all these things. So just allow yourself to go through these processes slowly. Because if you're already irritable, right, and you just want to lick some red sauce off of that uh, enchilada, get a little red sauce off the enchilada, girl, okay? And don't feel bad for it. So we just got to take it a day at a time and calm down. Cut your drinks out first, okay? Cut your drinks out first. Um, after that, you guys, stay away from white. That's something easy to do. Stay away from white. Instead of white bread, do wheat bread. Instead of white rice, do brown rice, right? So just change all your stuff from white to brown, and we'll be good there. And that's also going to help you inside of this topic of skin technique as well, where you learn because the grains are going to have the fibers. And we're going to learn about how fiber helps with your skin um, collagen production and elasticity. Okay, you guys. So um, stay away from white. If it doesn't go bad in seven days, right? This is how simple I needed my milk. You guys, I have never counted carbs. I have never counted sugars. I have never counted calories. They said two shakes a day. Tap three times, right? A sensible meal, snacks in between. And I just did that, okay? If I had to keep a checkbook and a sugar book, your girl's gonna overdraft somewhere, okay? I cannot keep all these books. I got three kids and a husband, and now I'm trying to help the world get a small waist and a pretty face. So I ain't got time to count these things, okay? So you guys, I kept things simple like that. Stay away from white. I stay away from white. Drop your drinks. I drop my drinks, right? If it doesn't go bad in seven days, don't eat it right? So all your canned food, you don't need to be eating all that sodium stuff. If it doesn't go bad in seven days, don't eat it, right? I always say over can take frozen, okay? If you need something that lasts a little bit longer because we're not going to eat it right away, put it, get a frozen vegetables or, or, and, and frozen food if you get that. But don't try to, as much as you can, stay away from cans, right? As much as you can in the meal prepping, y'all, steam your rice, Okay, I know we like the dude in the orange bag, but try not to do the microwavable foods either. Okay, if it doesn't go bad in seven days, if the food can go in the cupboard, we should, we should be, bread goes in the cupboard, okay? Bread goes in the cupboard, not, cooked food is not in the cupboard, okay? If it doesn't go bad in seven days, we shouldn't do it. All right, um, and create convenience, don't buy it. 
Okay. Create convenience. Don't buy it. And I tell you that because in the beginning, when we're trying to figure out our flow, when we're trying to figure out our healthy taste buds, when we're trying to figure all of that stuff out, you guys, um, we might switch things up a lot, but you don't have to buy these things. Get ideas. When you go to the grocery store and you see the things that are already packed, like the four things, go buy a block of cheese, go buy you some pretzels, go buy you some celery, go buy you some grapes and make your own four. And now you make a lot of fours, right? And with a little bit of money, instead of paying $5.99 each for their pre whatever. And we don't know where any of that stuff came from, how it has to even stay in there and stay right, right? So as much as you can create your own convenience, create convenience, don't buy convenience again, because that's just another thing that you're adding to your journey that may um, push you to quit, right? What are the things that push people to quit? They say they get bored or it's too expensive, right? It's not too expensive. You're trying to buy the already made things. Don't do that. Meal prep and snack prep, right? Create the convenience. Don't buy the convenience. And then um, when talking about board, this is my last tip. If you are not satisfied, find your nutrition flow. That's something that makes your taste buds spark up and fly. Maybe you need to see it. Spark up and fly, right? Because if, you're, if your taste buds are, are dancing, then you're satisfied, even with your shake. Y'all, if you are drinking your shake, like, y'all, the shake is delicious. You ain't making it right. Are you Are you mixing it with OJ? Right? Are you putting ownership in it? Are you putting eggs in it? What are you doing? All right, we got you selling on Beauty and the Beast. We got to find out, right? And sometimes you just don't know the ratio to blend or whatever, and you just got to figure it out. But talk to your coach and make sure that you uh, get your shake to something that you crave. If you don't crave it, you're just taking it in, just take it in. Let me tell you something. As an ex 215 pound girl, fool never stopped me. All right? Fool never stopped me. But I always talk about Burger King because I know they got something in that smoke. It ain't even real smoke. Y'all ain't even got a grill in there. Okay? But you guys, if they put something in that smoke that will bring you like, ooh, I have your car doing a whole U turn. So it's the satisfaction. So you not only want it to make you full, but you also want to be satisfied because if you're not satisfied, you're going to go look for something else, right? So make sure that you're actually putting in the work to figure out what it is that you like. If not, guess what? The work's already done. It's a new meal guide that you guys have. Those are clickable links, right? So you have your meal guide with YouTube links. Oh, that looks good. The picture, click on it. Oh! It shows you how to make it and it gives you a recipe. Yes, it does, girl, right? So you want to make sure that you get your meal guide and you look at those things because the work has already been done to satisfaction, right? To satisfaction. So it was more than just being full. You want to be satisfied. All right, you guys. So let's get into the skin tightening. The first thing I'm going to go over, let's talk about the skin. So the skin is the lar largest organ on the body. It is the largest organ on the body, you guys. And the innermost layer consists of proteins, including collagen and elastin, okay? Collagen makes up 80% of that protein, 80% of that protein. Did you know collagen was a protein? 80% of that protein, that's what the collagen does, okay? So you already know, the first thing that I'm gonna talk about in skin tightening is our collagen. And I love our collagen, and I love our company, right? You know our company backwards engineers everything. You know our company got patents on everything. We got five patents on our teeth, right? You can't, you can't remake our teeth. That's why right. our tea, you already know. You drink the tea, oh my gosh, you gotta go pee, you clean the house. Like you are getting your toxins out. You guys, there are no diuretics in our tea, but we got five patents on it, right? So anybody who tries to come after, y'all, we've been we've been doing this since 1980. We've been doing this since the 80s. So we patented a long time ago, right? We patented a long time ago. So now when other others want to create a tea as well, right, and have like the same effect, they can't do what we did because it's patented. So then what? The diuretics are going to come in. Diuretics are horrible. You guys are Latina. The diuretics have been in my life, my whole life. I feel like I don't know what's part of our culture, but you guys, diuretics are horrible for us. They strip our vital organs of the hydration. These are our vital organs in this section right here. And when we take the hydration from our vital or organs, our body sends fat to protect them. So do not take your di those diuretics unless you were prescribed them by a doctor. Right for a medical reason, but don't be going to Walmart and, and taking six diuretics or something. Okay, we got cellulose. That's a healthy elimination of water weight. Okay, take your cellulose, no diuretics, drink your tea, detox, boom. I had to stay like that for the screenshot. So you guys got at least one good one. All right, you guys. So taking in the collagen. So uh, herbal life and, and the whole thing behind us having the best is that 
if the best is already created, guess what Herbalife did? Herbalife partnered exclusively with the best. So we didn't even recreate a collagen. We uh, partnered with Verisol. Does it still come up? Nope. Uh, with Verisol, you guys, to have the number one collagen producer inside of our collagen exclusively, right? So here we are. That's how amazing our company is. We ain't too proud. Y'all already made it. Y'all already patented. So since y'all patented everything up, what's up? Y'all want to partner? Okay. So you guys, this is very, very, very good quality collagen. Not only that, it tastes amazing. So with the collagen, you guys, it makes up 80% of our skin structure, firmness and strength. Elastin produces the athletic the elasticity and help skin stay tight. Let me just give a disclaimer. I do not know medical words. So if I got any nurses, doctors, or medical professionals on this on this call, y'all, I'm gonna mess these words all up, okay? Just blame it on ESL. I don't know, okay? I don't even know how to say these things, but I'm excited about what they do. So you guys, the collagen makes up, uh, the, uh, provides the uh, elastin provides elasticity and helps skin stay tight. The collagen will improve skin's moisture by increasing the hyaluronic acid levels, right? What else does that for us, you guys? CR7, okay? So there, I have my skin tightening system, and then I have a depth system that you can add to it. So these are the first things that I did, these three products here that I'm gonna tell you guys about. So collagen is first, okay? It helps with the skin's moisture by increasing the, uh, the hyaluronic acid levels. The collagen, and then the collagen production um, leading to stronger collagen networks, the growth of skin fibroblasts. Those are the cells that help connect in all of that, right? And wound healing. So if you guys have your kids, your husband, I mean, what do you call this, Chris? Man juice? Handsome juice. He calls it handsome juice, okay? It's beauty booster, but he calls it handsome juice. Chris be about his collagen beauty booster. Y'all, it would have been so funny if we had cameras in this house the day that I hid it in the couch because I did not want to share with him. Is it switching out or no? I can't see me. Or is that just my computer? Okay, so um, I'll look here. <laughs> it's, can you look at it? Because it's glitching. But you guys, I wish I would have had a camera in the house because when we when this product first came out, you know, like there's some things that it's just like, this is a woman thing. Like, you know, we, we take this a little bit more serious than men and it's, collagen right so i'm like i need all the collagen i can get i'm trying to age gracefully i'm trying to get the skin right because we in the bikinis we are in these tight dresses they're in suits you can't even see anything going on like that but uh it, as long as it's still on right here chris but just change this out because I, I won't be able to do it like that um you guys so when we got it i hid it in the couch and when I hit it in the couch, Chris was like, where's the beauty booster? Where's the beauty booster? And I was like, I don't know. He's like, tell me where the beauty booster is, right? He was just like, tell me where. Chris, this is going to distract me and I'm going to be able to keep going. So can you please just put my phone up here? Oh, that's it right there? Well, if that's on that, then put, put um, the computer on. Okay. Okay. So I'm talking there. All right, you guys. So, and then I, I hit it in the couch and he was like, where is the beauty booster? And I'm like, I'm not telling you what a beauty booster is. He's like, if you don't tell me what a beauty booster is, right? Getting all upset and stuff. And I was just like, Chris, if we would have had cameras in the house of a couple fighting over beauty booster, that would have been hilarious. All right, you guys. So that is our collagen, right? Collagen, collagen, collagen. You want collagen like crazy. After the collagen, you guys, we have a product called Nightworks, which I don't have with me right now. Uh, the night works, and that is going to be in our heart health, but that is nitric oxide, right? So we want to be taking in the nitric oxide. So with the night works, you guys, it's going to help, right? Because what is what, what do we need to feed? We need to feed our cells in this so our cells can help our reproduction of the collagen, right, and the elastin. So we need to feed these cells. So we're going to feed the cells, but we also want to stimulate them. With that being said, make you look at my dry brush. Um, so by feeding the cells, we need to feed the cells what? What is cells food? oxygen. So we need to get oxygen into our bloodstream, into our bodies, feeding our cells. So our cells are alive and say, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Right. You're taking your collagen now, right? You're taking your collagen to help you produce more collagen. You're feeding your cells with the night work. So your cells are like, all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All those fibroblasts, right? Those fibroblast cells, those are the connectors that's going to connect everything that you need for your collagen to bring that stuff together, right? Everything is damaged and disconnected. You guys, when we gain weight and our skin stretches, 
when it stretches and it remains stretched for a long period of time, it damages that, that process of repairing itself. So all we have to do is feed it what it needs to help it repair itself, okay? So we're, we, uh, our collagen production starts slowing down. So we're gonna, we're gonna refill our collagen production, right? And help promote for more. Then we're gonna feed the cells that connect all of those things, okay? With our night works, our nitric oxide. So we're gonna feed those cells, you guys. So our cells, for our, for our fibroblast cells, they go in and they get that skin together, right? So that's what your night works is going to do. You want to feed the cells oxygen, improving the blood flow, improves the cells that make the connective compounds that generate new growth of skin fibroblasts. Feed the cells with the night works and then stimulate. So let me talk to you guys about what I did stimulating. Now, you cannot find your dry brush on site on Herbalife, right? But I recommend dry brushing. So if you have a lot of weight to lose, like I did, you know, six, four pounds, um, then you want to uh, start to stimulate your blood flow as well. So you want to feed it, right? You want to feed those cells so they wake up. But then after they wake up, let's start getting them moving. So in the areas that you want tightening, y'all, I'm going to be honest, I've dry brushed this whole body, okay? I'm, I'm doing this whole, huh, huh, I'm doing the whole body, y'all. But what you do is you dry brush and you do it in the direction of your heart, right? You can do your little circles. And you guys, you're barely touching your skin, like tickling. Because all you're doing is stimulating the cells, right? You fed them, they're ready to go. You gave them their little pre-workout. And then you bring it to, you bring it right here. So you guys, I would be on my stomach, right? I had two C-sections, I was 215 pounds. So you can see where the babies were. And I'm kind of bloated right now because, you know, I'm sharpie. So I'm kind of bloated right now, but you guys, this right here, let me do this because then you can see where it's at. I don't know if you guys can see because it's black, but you got right here, you know, their babies work. And so this thing right here, I will just take it and just dry brush. I will lay down and just dry brush. Every day, dry brush, right? Before you get in the shower. And Chris right now, he went and got this because he went and got, you guys, my husband's down 69 pounds. So even my husband dry brushes. He does all the same things because he's like, oh, you ain't getting tight around me, girl. So he, we hang this right there on our shower curtain. And before we get in the shower, we just dry brush and then we get in the shower. Right. So I love, love, love dry brushing um, with right here. You guys looks like a horse brush. Okay, folks, I got a three set on uh, Amazon. That's where I got my dry brush. All right. So that is how you feed those cells and then stimulate those cells. So we got our collagen in, right? Because our collagen started slowing down on reproducing. So we're taking our collagen. We're, we're getting the collagen in. But now when the collagen's in there, I need those fibroblasts to go in and start connecting everything to bring it together like that. That's the tightening, right? So I wanna do that. And then you guys, my third product is going to be this. So we're talking about the skin tightening combo that I put together because I wanted to do it holistically, right? So it was the collagen, right? Beauty Booster, the Night Works, and then the Active Fiber Complex. The Active Fiber Complex, you guys, is soluble and uh, insoluble and soluble fibers, right? And it's five grams of fiber that you'll get. You guys can add this to your, remember that nighttime tea I was telling you about? So I'll do my nighttime tea, hot with aloe and fiber. Oh my gosh, so amazing. Like I said, UPS man in the morning, delivering packages twice before I even leave this place. So um, you guys, the active fiber is super amazing for digestion, I'll tell you that right now, and deep floating. Um, you can add it to any shape. This is one of my favorite flavors. This is the active um, fiber. This is the tropical. So I love putting the tropical into my shapes as well, right? It'll make that shape like thicky. So make sure that we're not packing it so much with all the ice and stuff, because this will make it thicker, okay? Just know that. So we have to take down our ratios a little bit. So the fiber will make it thicker, you guys, but fiber is, um, let me get this real quick. So fiber, oh, where am I? Your skin is one of the many parts of your body that is linked to your gut, which we talked about earlier. So a happy gut leads to happy looking skin, okay? The FDA recommends that an American gets in 30 grams of fiber a day. 95% of us are failing to do that. If you guys want a picture of what 30 grams of fiber is, that's like 12 salads a day, right? And I'm not talking iceberg lettuce. I'm talking, you know, spinach, getting in that fiber. So that's 12 salads, full portions a day to get in that 30 grams of fiber, you guys. 95% of us Americans are not getting that in and we need to get that in. That's one of the main reasons that Americans suffer so much from so many digestive issues. You guys, like I said, I've been doing this for eight years. I wanna say two out of my three female clients 
are not going to the restroom regularly. Something's going on, right? With, with two out of three of my clients. So it's the majority that there's a huge digestion. And that's just the female, right? The men, it's the same, it's the same ratio, right? We're just not going to the restroom like we should be going to the restroom. Okay. It's either way like not happening at all or just excessive, right? I've helped people through gallbladder uh, surgery, all types of things, right? So it's either not enough or excessive, okay? So our fiber, but we want to get it regular and that's gonna be with our good bacteria. So you guys, so your skin is one of the, okay, so happy get leads to looking, uh, healthy looking skin. Fiber is be beneficial because it's the, uh, of, because of the part of the gut it supports. Keeping your micro, this, okay, uh, medical people, this is just what I call it, but it might be something different. Microbiota, right? So the microbiota, healthy and well-fed. So that part of our gut is directly linked to our skin, you guys. And so if our gut isn't moving, clearing out and, and getting that stuff out, then our skin is affected. Isn't that so crazy? You guys, the last thing to go to are topical creams. And that again, for the people in the back, the last thing to go to are topical creams. And if you want to get a topical cream that would be beneficial based on, it's like, based on my, my computer was going off for all crazy right now. Okay. Okay. Um, based on science, right? It's the moisture. It's the moisture that needs to feed the skin. So, you know, get the, what do we, what do we got? The aquaphor thing? <laughs> get that water lotion and just put that on. You guys, collagen works for your body when it's ingested. So don't be, don't be, uh, falling for those lotions and stuff that say they got collagen and whatnot. Okay, cool. I don't need collagen on top of my skin. I need it in my skin because it's the innermost layer of my skin and it's a protein that needs to be digested, not rubbed off, right? Okay, so you wanna make sure, just stay hydrated. So when you're working on a skin tightening journey, hydration is very, very important. You guys, I am a water freak. I am a water freak now because I want, oh, I could cry. I was not able to put on a bikini. I was a, I, I used to be able to put two pencils under the flap where the C-sections are, right? I was able to put two pencils under there, you know, I'll put two dots right here. I'll go, hey, 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 you know, smile like that, it. you know, those smile back rewards that Walmart be giving, I give you two. But uh, you guys, so I used to do that back in the day when I had that and I just thought, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to lose as much weight as I can naturally, but I just don't know where all the skin is gonna go, right? So let me tell you, when you do lose your weight, I've been most of talking about this. When you do lose your weight and you go to get your smaller sizes or you go to in that bathing suit for the first time, take support. You guys, the first time that I went to Walmart to get my bikini or just to try one on, right? I was going to go get a bathing suit, but I was like, you know, I was by myself. Let me try this bikini. So I went and got the bikini, guys. I went in the dressing room. I put it on. And when I put it on, I instantly got really emotional. I never, ever, ever thought like... For anybody else who, who has experienced, experienced this, you know, you just think, where is this going to go? And how can I ever put just a bottom, like, what, where? So when I put that bikini on, and at the time, you guys, it was still there. It was just shrunk, right? It, but it was still there. You guys, I've been doing this eight years, eight years. And my skin tightening journey, I started and was very consistent. Your girl is consistent, okay? Three years ago, okay? So every year, I feel like it gets better and better and better and better. And it does, it does. So there was still a little bit of skin there, but I was able to put, but I'm talking, you couldn't tell. You couldn't tell unless I was, you know, in my birthday suit. So I put the bikini on you guys and I just, I couldn't breathe. And I wanted to cry, but you know, Walmart don't leave the real walls. It's like in the middle, it's like a pod or something. It's like cubicles, they got me changing it. So I'm in this cubicle with no walls. And I didn't even want to make a noise because they could hear me. And so I was trying not to cry and I wasn't breathing and then, that made it worse because then it came out and I was like, ah, ah. And the lady was like, you all right there, and I was like, yeah, I just got a bikini on. And I was serious, y'all. But it was like, it was the most, it was the biggest, I felt like the biggest achievement of my life. And I never thought that I would have that moment. And for a woman, that moment is very important. That moment, that moment is very, very important. I, there was, my marriage went through a lot because of my insecurities. Um, my husband loved me. <laughs> he proposed to the 250 pound Brittany. You know, so he loved me. But you guys, you know how it is. 
I couldn't look, he couldn't look left or right because I'm like, are you looking at her? You doing, I won't tell that whole fight because of the Colgate commercial. And it's funny now, but it was not funny then because he, I thought he smiled too big at the Colgate commercial and your girl went crazy, right? It wasn't good for my kids. It wasn't good for my husband. It was making problems that we did not have. I was just insecure. I had no self-love. Didn't recognize the woman in the mirror anymore. I ruined all of our dates. So that moment for me, and that dressing room was everything. So whoever needed to hear that, I hope it encouraged you. I hope if you are feeling defeated today, you feel filled up right now. And you're going to go, you're going to go, you're going to go. Because you can do it. And you deserve it. I promise you, you deserve it. Okay? If anything else, who cares about the issues? Who cares? I mean, the self-love. I feel good. I feel confident. Right? I feel Good. And that's just, I, I don't talk, I just want to be feeling good and confident in my own bedroom. That's where that's all, you know what I'm saying? That's what, that's where I want to be in my own house. I don't I just need to be somewhere else. Just here. You guys transform my marriage. So we're not just talking weight loss here. We're not talking just image. We're not talking vanity. We're talking real feelings, things that hold us back. Have you looked at the statistics on when somebody doesn't feel them, that 100% themselves, confident in themselves, you hold yourself back from opportunities. You hold yourself back from jobs. You hold yourself back from leveling up. You hold yourself back from so much more than just putting on a bikini, right? And you're lying to yourself when you say, yeah, but I just love to eat. No, you don't. Because I used to say that too. No, you don't. Because when my husband tried to take me on a date, I, I didn't love to eat more than that moment when my husband found me on the ground crying because I just couldn't find anything to wear that made me feel pretty. I did not love a burger more than myself. That was a defensive mechanism I said to myself when nobody was even judging me. I was judging myself. Like, ooh, don't bring up weight in front of me, right? Ooh, if one of you were ever like, would have came around me with that little weight now, I asked out. Ooh, don't want to be like, but she's so repellent. I'm out, right? Because I'm, ah, I'm out, right? That's how it was. Because I was so insecure. I was so insecure, you guys. So that was just a little extra nugget. So we want to get our fibers in, you guys. 30 milligrams of fiber a day to help get that 30 in. Remember, with staying in a low caloric form, that's when we bring in the fiber, you guys. This is 15 calories. 15 calories, that's it, right? You cannot get 15 calories in a salad. You cannot get 15 calories in a salad. 15 calories to get five grams of insoluble and soluble fibers, which we need both of. So. You guys, collagen, night works, fiber. That's how we are gonna do it because we understand the process of how our body works and just feed the soldiers that get your skin together, right? Feed it. Is it, is it gonna happen overnight? No, I'm being very transparent with you guys. I've been on this nutrition journey and very consistent for eight years. I've been very focused on my skin journey for three years. So it's taken me a minute, but I got time. I ain't going nowhere, right? I ain't going nowhere. So I got time, okay? And I ain't got time for no recoveries or nothing. So it's just gonna have to happen naturally for me is what I said. So this is what I did. I did the research. Now, you guys, I love my products. I'm confident in my products. I'm confident in the way that they're manufactured. I'm confident in how they're made. I've met the doctors. I've met the farmers. I've met, I've met them. I've been to the manufacturing facility. Y'all, before they even put anything in here, they shoot it with pharmaceutical grade air so they're not even lit in there. Pharmaceutical gray hair, y'all, is not just a fan. That's the that is schmoney, right? To just so there's not even a mint in here. So I, you guys, these products are amazing. Anytime I need help with anything, you know, if I got an injury, if I got something that I'm trying to do, I always look up how can I, you know, tighten skin naturally, right? I had an umbilical hernia, so when I had my hernia surgery, how can I, um, how can I heal naturally, right? And I and I, I just look up you know, the vitamins, the nutrients, the things that you need. And I'm like, okay, this has that, this has that, this. boom, here's my program, right? And it works for me every time, guys. So those are my two, uh, those are my three products for my skin tightening regimen. Now, if you want to enhance that and go all in, then this is going all in, you guys, for, for the most part, these are the three products that I did all the time, right? I just didn't realize that my other products that I do only just help enhance this even more. So doing the CR7, right? Because now you know it's moisture. Moisture, 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 right? And the hydroclonic acid, right? So CR7, CR7 is an incredible product, period, right? That's what my kids drink Kool Aid. CR7 and then um, Simply Probiotics. So if you wanted to add two more, it would be this, uh, the CR7 and the Simply Probiotics. And the Simply Probiotics came out after I already figured this stuff out. And the Simply Probiotics is what? 
probiotics for your gut. And now we know that our gut is direct, directly linked to our skin. But I already do the Simply Probiotic so much because I also suffer from adult acne. So I know that when I'm on my Simply Probiotics and I'm taking my probiotics and I'm drinking my water, my skin looks so much clearer, right? And the breakouts are like minimal. You guys, before, like, oh my gosh, I'm not eating right. These are like suckered up, swelled up. All right, you guys. So with that being said, we're getting into Taco Tuesday, okay? Taco Tuesday! So we can still have our tacos, right? But we want to stay in the game of skin tightening. Here is the, the Megatron of our skin tightening. It's soy. You guys, what's your shape? Soy. What's your protein? Soy, right? Even in your even in your 24, like we have the whey, the casein, right? The L-glutamines. Um, we have all of those things, but what's it, what's the soy's in there too, right? You guys, soy is an incredible food for your skin. Incredible, incredible, incredible. So soy benefits are moisture. So it that's the number one benefit, is because it it, it uh improves the moisture in your skin. Okay, it cleanses, it improves pigmentation. Um, visible improvement in appearance of unwanted hair. Okay. And soy helps promote collagen production. What do you know? Oh my gosh. So you're helping produce collagen production. You're taking the collagen to add more collagen to get produced. You are doing your night works to feed the cells that are going to go in there and connect all of those, all of those collagen and fibroblasts to come back together. And then you're going to have your fiber in there, right? To, to help keep that gut clean and and the part of the gut with the microbiota ooh, the microbiota part of the gut right with the fibers so that your gut that is the the part of the gut that is into our skin is all working together to get us tight and right y'all so that is britney's picks and the things that i have done in my journey you guys i am not a doctor i'm not a medical professional i am not a skin tightening professional this is just the products that i use and then these are my results okay so <laughs> You guys saw my before and after on the slide, but I will make sure to add that in and your coaches can share it with you. And I'm also going to put together the flyer with um, the quick tips and information on these products so that you guys have a reference, right? So get with your coach after the call and we can resend you this video and we can send you that flyer with the information on it so you remember what products to order if you don't have your pin and you're not writing down or you missed something because I talked really fast. Right. Okay. So with that being said, you guys, we're getting into our our tofu taco Tuesday, and the reason why we're doing tofu, why? Because we're doing soy, baby. So now that we know that soy is going to help us improve our skin, feed the skin's moisture. Remember, it's going to cleanse it out of our toxins. That's why our tea works for our skin tightening to get those antioxidants out for everything to work faster. We're going to do our tofu tacos. So you guys, when it comes to tofu tacos. Before I even got healthy, your girl, I did not, I didn't even eat these colors. Let me be honest. These types of things was not in the diet, okay? Get your blood, that was good. Uh, but that was it. So you guys, I never had tofu before. And then I'm just like, when I got into the soy thing and I wanted to up my soy in my diet plan, then I was like, okay, let me um, learn how to cook with soy. First of all, soy is not something that you have to cook. It's already cooked. Okay. or it's already, it's plants, or whatever it is, I don't know what it is, y'all, it's soy, soy is soy, okay, so what I do is I get the firm, okay, I get the ultra firm soy, and then with it, I'll cut it, like, you guys see this, this is cut in, like, squares or something, not, like, and, and, like, chunks, and I'm gonna put it on my, my grill right here, so it's, it's, um, cut, cut it, is this like this, can you make sure this is on, let me just, uh, it's cut into its chunks, you guys, and all I do is give it like a texture, like a meat texture, because I, I need to feel like I'm eating a meat, right? So this is just how I do it, but literally, I mean, you could take it right out of here and eat it just like that, right? I've been I'm marinating so good. So look at I just put it right back in there. It's my kids anyway. So you guys, this is going to be the ultra firm. How I have this one seasoning, it is soaking in lemon juice and jalapenos. That is it. So I had it soaking for a while. And when I put it on the grill, you guys, all I'm doing is making it a little tougher and then putting that texture on it. Another thing that you can do and that I do when I do tacos, but I wanted you guys to see it like this, because I'll put this on salads. I'll prep my, my tofu and then I'll make a salad, right? If you don't have a meal prep, then you have tofu salad. 
all week because you just make your tofu right the way that you want to flavor it have all your salad ingredients in the fridge and then boom put your salad together put your tofu on top eat it boom bada bing bada boom there's your meal right so i love the convenience of tofu so you guys um i even will come in here and crumble this up like hamburger meat i make chili with this so i and all i do i treat this just like it's meat this is how i've been doing my taco meat right so i any way that i would have seasoned my meat for that meal that's how I season it. So I've done, I've done lemon pepper, right? I've done all types of stuff for my, for my tofu. And so you guys, I put down a little bit of um, coconut oil and I have my little grill right here. Shout out to our challenger who won the grill last call. I seen a picture grill. Um, and all I do, you guys, I'm gonna get this now and I'm gonna put it on the grill. And all I'm gonna do is let this get a little bit brown. And if I had crunched it up like hamburger meat, I would just put it in a skillet and move it around, put a little bit of uh, cooking oil in there. We like to cook with either grape seed or uh, avocado oil has been my jam recently. It's got a little bit of like a nutty taste. Right here, my spray is a coconut spray. I love uh, cooking uh, with coconut oil when I do my chicken. I feel like it makes chicken taste so good and fish. Maybe it's a white, a white meat thing, but it just tastes so good. So I'm gonna put that on here. And you guys, like I said, there's nothing that you have to like cook. I'm just getting it to, um, let me see. Just put the thing down. They can, they can take a couple inches off this forehead. They didn't need all that. There you go. That's all y'all need it right there. These brows ain't even good. That's all y'all need it. Sarah, don't be laughing like that, girl. That was too hard of a laugh. Too hard of a laugh, okay? So you guys, can you, can you, okay, let me move all this stuff. So you got your skill here. I just put a little bit on that. There we go. I'm just gonna flip these little babies right here. And I'm just gonna get them a little bit golden brown. There we go. There we go. And as I am doing that, we can start prepping our taco. Our taco. See, I'm telling you guys, it's gotta be satisfying. If it's not satisfying, we pull it in the Burger King with that fake smoke. Maybe you got me live on the World Wide Web. No offense, Burger King. They're gonna try to come get your girl. All right, guys. So with that, I'm going to take, here's my romaine lettuce leaves. I'm gonna put this out right here. Let me get a good one. You gotta get a good taco shell. I leave Chris the busted one. I get the, the nice big one. They're down here. Always at the bottom. It all makes me poop once a day. Be quiet. He's so dumb. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah heard that too. Y'all can't be cheering Chris on like that. You know he'd be acting reckless. All right, so you got your, your taco show here. You guys, let me tell you something else. You know your girl. Hey, I'm in Texas, okay? Everything's bigger in Texas. Let me tell you what makes an excellent burrito, okay? A collard green leaf. You get a collard green leaf, that thing is huge, okay? You get your, you get your big pot, you, you put boiling water in there, you get you one of these, you drop that collard green leaf in there and just let it soak and get soft. And then after it gets soft, you put it on your plate. You can roll up a whole burrito with a collard green. And collard green has like its own nice flavor, okay? But this is Taco Tuesday. We can have burrito Sunday and use your collard greens for your burritos. All right. You guys, and it's so good. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. I wish you guys could smell the aroma. Let me just be extra so you guys could feel like you're smelling it. The feeling is a secret. You know that, right? So, you see how your mood is changing? You're like, eh, you're making me want tofu. I ain't even had tofu in my life. Look at that. Look at that grill. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take this, this, put those in there. Like, oh, ooh, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. We're gonna squeeze some lime on this. And I like to, as much as you can, try to flavor your foods naturally, right? So you're gonna see me, I'm like, I use so much, I use a lot of lemon, okay? I use a lot of lemon and stuff. Try to fla you, uh, flavor your stuff naturally, okay? So I'm gonna put the tofu, I'm gonna put my tomatoes. I love me some crunchy, fresh jalapenos. I gotta make it look pretty when I show you guys, okay? 
Y'all, y'all already know avocado is honey popping in this establishment. I don't know about y'all's houses. Uh, there's a notification on the phone, Chris. This is my taco. I can touch it. Put my taco here. So let me tell you guys what I really do with this avocado. Chris got me set up, so you know he likes to do these little slices. But I like to crunch mine up. And then what I really do is that on my on my lettuce shell, I'll paste it with the avocado. Then I put the other stuff. Ooh, now we burn it, Chris. I know. Put my whole flame went up right there, y'all. And I got trust me, everybody in my area. We had a whole bunch of Jackson feet. I don't know if they can even see the smoke coming up right now. Y'all, we already had too many fires in this house. Coach Ashley Petrie, I know she's on the call. Y'all, if I can poke people on Zoom, she set my whole house on fire this weekend with a plate that clearly says on the back of the plate, do not microwave. And y'all, it was a fire, fire, a cat fire. They put a marshmallow in, like a triangle, had a whole shape, everything, red to orange to blue, the whole nine yards. It was a fire. And then she tried to put it out with a napkin. That caught on fire. It was on fire, okay? Y'all, my house is crazy. So we got this lettuce wrap here, we got the tofu, we got the tomatoes, we got the jalapenos, we got the avocados, you know, a taco and a taco without cilantro. Y'all do not hate on the cilantro. My girl Maria, shout out to Maria, I think I said on the call already. Uh, put cilantro in your soup mix for your snack. Oh, good. All right, you guys. So here I go, here I go, here I go again. Y'all, what's the day is? Taco Tuesday, ah, ah. Okay, we're going to taste this. We're going to taste this live at five. Oh, let me show, show you guys this. But you got to turn off the light. Kill the light. Let this thing shine. That light can't shine. Ooh. Ooh. Take a screenshot of that. That's better than me. Ooh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. How you know I'm 215? Because only a 215 girl who be like, oh, yeah, what? You see how deep my guy got very white with it. Turned into a whole, went from a safety two linebacker real quick. Hold on, y'all. We're going to taste this because I'm hungry. Your girl is hungry. It's got to be satisfying. Remember? Mm. Yeah, you got that yummy, 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 yummy. Yeah, you got the yummy, yummy. Hey, y'all, I'm being taken with us. Ah, that's how the video is in the end. Not all my videos eat the same. Chris, I'm about to die. Hold on, y'all. Told you. What do you mean you told me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she needs some milk. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm going to get it together. But let me give you guys a tip. Y'all know we learn together, okay? We learn together. And that's why I cook it first because my mistakes that I make when I cook, you do not make. You have I'm trying to breathe. If I pass out, y'all, somebody caught a cop. I'm in Lake Jackson, uh, Texas. But you guys, uh, when you do your jalapeno and you cut off the, the, the front, take you a butter knife in there and scrape out that inside. Look how my husband did me. All these seeds. Oh, my gosh. And you already know I got healthy bowel movements. That. Burn in, burn out. Okay. Oh my gosh, Chris. That's how you're gonna have me on our anniversary. <laughs> Do you know? All right, you guys. So that is it. Did you see how simple that was? Tofu, take it out. You guys can soak and marinate your tofu in anything that you want to do the same way that you do your meat. Do your tofu. I really want to empower you and encourage you to try something new. Try something new and see if you like it. I was so shocked, you guys. I got three boys, right? And they've been eating this stuff for a long time. They eat tofu. Food, right? They don't even know it was weird or not. So me and Chris are like, hold on, right? But you guys, the whole family eats it now, you guys. And it's so, so good for you, especially if you're on your skin tight and journey too, you guys, up your soy game, okay? Up your soy game. So with that being said, you guys, I hope you have an awesome and amazing Tuesday, you guys. I hope you have an awesome challenge. Stick with it. Remember why you started. Remember why you started. Remember who you were the day before you went into your coach's DM or went to your coach's house or however you found your coach or that your coach found you and know that it's on purpose for purpose. You have been seeking something. You have been looking for something. You have been crying alone in the night like I was. You have been doing things maybe that other people don't know, but you've been asking and now you're receiving. Stick with it. This is an accountability group. It's a motivation group and we'll be here for you. You guys, the coaches, you know how we became coaches? We just were somebody that was once on our journey and then we just felt so good. We just had to share it with others. 
You guys have heard my testimony now. I feel like I can shout it to the top of the, the rooftops to everybody on what these products have done for my life, what they've done for me, what they've done for my marriage. But like I said, there's so many things that have benefited for the, from me getting healthy. And the biggest thing, you guys, as a mother that I would never take away is that doing this for nine years now, my oldest is 17. So that means he started this when he was eight, when I started this when he was eight years old. So, and then after that, Elijah was four and then Axel was one, right? So you guys, the, this is all they know. They will never have to unlearn the things that me and Chris had to unlearn. I'm just talking on my insecurities. You guys, the men have them too, right? My husband's just not on the screen to tell you everything that he felt. But you guys, they will never have to go through what we went through. They won't have to go through the embarrassment. They won't have to go through the health things. They won't have to go through the insecurities. They won't have to go through any of that. Any of that because this is all they know. This is all they know. This is their normal. And that has blessed my life more than I could ever, ever be grateful for or have imagined could happen, right, you guys? So stick with it. Believe in yourself. Yes, you can. Only focus on today. Focus one day at a time. Don't worry about day 21 right? You're on day eight, win day eight. Tomorrow is day nine, worry about day nine and win day nine. If you guys don't already have a calendar hanging up somewhere, hang up a calendar, right? And every day when you win that day, put a W. I won, I won, I won. If you have one mess up day, be transparent with yourself, write it down, put a C, cheat, right? Cheat. And then when you look at your month and you only have three days of C's and all W's, you did that. You're a winner. You get 1% better every day. And guess what? By the end of the year, you're 365% better. You can do it. You are a part of a great accountability. You have a great coach. And you are amazing. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you on next one. Look at me trying to stay in the screen now. I'll see you on next one. Bye, guys. You might seem crazy. What I'm about to say. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, thank you. Bye, thank you. Bye, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.